up guys i am back today with another video and i am going to be showing you some mobile games that even though they're mobile games they're good they're a, they're, they're just og and they are super good for mobile games even though i only have geometry dash light because my dad doesn't want me to spend two dollars but anyways plants vs zombies 2 it's a great game, but before I get into this, it's actually the original PvZ. The PvZ 2 is even better in my opinion. Basically, it's a tower defense game. Zombies come and they're trying to eat you, and you have to protect your brains by planting down plants, as you can see here. Amy, the truck, d d don't ask, it won't make sense later. Welcome to ancient Egypt. Please wait 4,500 years for your taco to be ready, more or less. That doesn't smell right. I'm sure my taco is around here somewhere, but in the meantime, these plants were meant for planting. That plant looks hungry. If there only there was something that you could feed it. Plant food is packed with vitamins and minerals. It's an essential part of a complete breakfast. Drag the plant food onto the plant. And yes, I've played this game before. I know what I'm doing. Glowing green zombies carry plant food. Collect that plant food that it dropped. I wonder if plant food works on other types of plants. Luna Dave's trip to ancient Egypt. My name's totally Dave. So, this game, it's kind of boring now, but it gets way better later on. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a planting thingy from this guy, so I'm just gonna use one. There you go. So basically, the strategy for this game is... Get a bunch of sunflowers, protect your little place over here if you have to. Get a bunch of sunflowers, as many as possible. And then put down these zany, zany plants before the zombies eat your brains. Also, you might not be able to see it, but there are little lawnmowers in the back. Those will save you from uh, zombies that come, but they're only one-time use. So the reason this is part of a bunch of people's childhoods is it's just iconic. Everybody downloaded it the second they saw it. It just looks so cool and awesome. Um, it was just as if that it, there was a sort of magical sense to it. I guess you could say, like, everybody liked it, but anyways, no, you're not stealing my son, Mr. Man. There are all these types of cool zombies in PvZ2 that just aren't there in PvZ1, which is why I like it a lot. And now we get powers. Okay, I'll show you powers, but then we're going to stop, because otherwise this video is going to be 13 minutes long. Or, no, not 13, 30 minutes long. That's going to be way too much. Powers in this game are super fun. User Dave. Online banking, ser banking, banking services are unresponsive. Hear that? We are rich. Let's use unlimited free power-ups. Unethical, but okay. Continue. User Dave's trip to ancient Egypt. Set plant. Okay, let's see here. What can we do? Ooh, I can plant a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, also infinite. Let's see what this lightning thing does. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, baby! Now what's this knock thingy? Let me, let me try and. Oh, I can yeet things. I can yeet things, I guess? Let me try that again. Oh, yeah, I can yeet things. What about this freeze? Oh, yeah. All of you are frozen. None of you are escaping. Ooh, I get plant food. I can plant food all over you. And I can go zappity zappity zappatron on you. I'm gonna yeet you in the air. Like, I don't care. Then I'm gonna go zappity zappity zappatron on you. <laughs> Freeze. You aren't do going anywhere. Oh, no. I need to. Zappity, 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 all of you. Freeze, you can't eat my walnuts. That sounded wrong. Aha, die. 
of electrification. So yeah, that was fun. It's like a destruction simulator. But that'll be it for Plants vs. Zombies. And now, on to the next one, which is known as Subway Surfers. So, Subway Surfers, there are many collectibles and a bunch of stuff. All There's a bunch of crazy stuff. But before all of that, let me tell you about the game itself. Basically, you're this kid who um, was caught spray painting on a subway, and there's a police guy who you just saw that's chasing you, trying to catch you, and you're running away from him. You collect coins to get new outfits and all of that good stuff. You can also use this hoverboard ability that, if you pay enough coins, can let you double jump. So, this, this first um, little power up here is known as the jetpack. You fly up into the air, and you collect a whole bunch of coins, as well as skipping a huge part of the level. I have it maxed out by, again, paying a bunch of coins. And that gets you about, I don't know, maybe 50k coin, 50k score at this point in the game. But there's also many other power-ups, like the one I'm showing you right now. The hoverboard and the jump boost. So we'll get into the jump boost later, but the hoverboard basically if you crash into something, then you'll live, and if you get even if you pay for it with coins, you get um certain abilities like double jump. But now, as you can see, I crashed into that plane, but I still lived. The power up I have on right now is the jump boost, and what jump boost boost boots do, they just basically make you jump higher. Which means instead of dying from running into that train, I can just jump right over it. And this end right here, it's literally just um, a collectible. And if you finish the word, the word today, I have no idea what it is. But that, um, that just gives you little awards. But for now, let's move on to the next power up, the magnet. What the magnet does is basically it attracts all coins towards you. I don't want that jetpack. And what you just saw was was the pogo stick. The pogo stick literally just sends you up into the air for a little bit and gives you a power up at the end as well as some coins. And we'll see it again here. I got the jump boosters. So Subway Surfers is an awesome game. I played it a lot when I was little. I still play it a bit, but not anymore that much. It's a very fun game, and I played it a lot, and it was a huge part of my childhood. And I died, sadly. But now, on to the next game. It's personally one of my favorite mobile games of all time, and it's known as Geometry Dash. Geometry Dash, or Geometry Dash Lite, in my case, is super duper fun. I sadly deleted my account from a long time ago, and honestly, I'm still pretty bad. As you can see, I've only beaten two levels. So basically, the premise of this game is you're a little block guy, or in my case, block monster. I customized my skin. And you are avoiding all obstacles and trying to make your way to the exit. This is the first level in the game, Stereo Madness, or Stereo Madness, don't know how to pronounce it properly. And it's the easiest, being the first level. There's a couple trick ups like you just saw there. If I held it for too long, then I would have died. And there's also this ship mode, which basically if you click, as you can see here, you go up, and if you leave it, you go down. This is the first one, so it's very, very simple and easy. And then you go back to normal mode, and there's also these coins. I already collected that one, but if you saw that little transparent thing, that's the coin. You can use those to unlock levels, I do believe. And I died. Oh, Instagram ad. I hope I don't get sued for that. No, I don't, because Instagram isn't premises for being sued. But anyways, now I'm going to sh show you some of the best music you have probably ever heard. And it is in the second level known as Back on Track. And I will show you that right above. Out in three Instagram ad get out of my flipping white. 
There you go. Two. And you click there. Now, listen, listen, I'm not gonna talk. Once you hit the beat drop, you go. That will be it for today. I'm probably making this video too long. Get out of here, Ad. I don't care about you anymore. But anyways, that will be it for today. Be sure to like as well as subscribe. Otherwise, Geometry Monster will come and eat you. As well as all the zombies coming to eat your brains. And Mr. Fat Cop Guy from Subway Surfers will come and come on top of you so he will suffocate you. But anyways, that will be it for today. Be sure to like as well as subscribe. And leave a comment down below on what challenges you want me to do next. And I'll see you guys next time.